Is Jacob Zuma a born leader? Or actually, one will say, no, 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 no. Ramaphosa is a leader, not Zoom. Maybe Mbegi or Mandela, but the question that I want to ask today is, is Jacob Zuma a born leader or definitely not a born leader? You will tell me. Uh, let's start with Shaman. Shaman, she's got uh, a problem with Jacob Zuma being a born leader. I don't know where she gets this audacity to say, yeah, he's not a born leader. Hey, Shaman, is Jacob Zuma a born leader or not? No, I don't. I don't think so. No, actually, let me not say I don't think so. Jacob Zuma is not a born leader at all, according to me, and according to what I've read about him, what I've seen him doing. My conclusion is just straight and forward. He is not a born leader at all. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to ask you a question. So you're saying uh, you are for Jacob Zuma. So tell me something. Is Jacob Zuma a born leader? Or definitely not a born leader. Well, I mean, really. Well, Jacob Zuma is definitely a born leader. Jacob Zuma has shown the ability to draw an audience. The people seem to love the man and actually want to follow him despite the charges and accusations. But I want I want to pause you there. I want to pause you right there. The question that I want to ask from you is: Jacob Zuma a born leader or not? I was gonna come. I was gonna arrive at the point where I say substantiate. Oh, so <laughs> is Jacob Zuma a born leader or he is not a born leader? Yes or no? Most definitely, Jacob Zuma is born leader. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start with you. I'm gonna need you to substantiate. Is Jacob Zuma a born leader or he is not a born leader? Shamin. Okay, so here's my case. Um I'm saying Jacob Zuma is not a born leader. And according to me, we've, we've, we've had so many cases about this so-called leader that has so many followers. I mean, we have people that are following, following him regardless of the accusations that he's been accused of. We can't keep on ignoring and ignoring the accusations that keep on popping up and paint him as this, you know, good Samaritan savior of, of, of South Africa. Literally, his fruits, the f we know the tree by its fruits, right? So the fruits that he's producing are rotten. And we're taking that gladly and, and hiding it behind he's a good leader. Ah, come on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to ask you a question. Uh, so she's accusing Jacob Zuma of rotten and she has not yet substantiated the rotenism, right? I, I, I wouldn't blame her. Probably she has gone and checked and there were no facts. I don't know. She probably wouldn't find anything. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, all right. Um, you know, before we even take it any further, or rather before we, we go miles and kilometers, you know, with this whole topic, I want you to understand one thing, that the people that you speak of are not stupid. When they follow this man they follow this man because they have seen that he is standing for them and doing right by them how is this man doing right by them he has constantly shown time to time that he is advocating for the black men and colored women um, indians and white people in this country he has not left anyone he has never okay wait 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 what i want to know now charmaine substantial evidence is jacob zuma a bad leader or is it jacob zuma a born leader or not i need you to substantiate whatever point you are bringing on the table i need a substantial evidence do you have anything you can hold on to to say ah definitely He's not a born leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like the fact that you are throwing, yeah, you're yeah, cracking jokes right now, saying he's for the people. Which people are you talking about? He's for the idiots and what? Is that the reason why the Guptas bought him a house in Dubai? <laughs> is that how he's supporting literally in, I mean, come on. That's a point. There. That's a fact. Everybody knows about that scandal. And also the fact that um, his swimming pool costed millions and millions. Is that for the people? Are we still talking about no. uh, for being for the people right there? How many cases? I mean, should I go on? 
let me let me give you a chance to just you know navigate through that and tell me that the swimming pool that costed for million is that for the people the house that the Guptas bought him in Dubai is that for the people is that how he's supporting the Indian nation <laughs> oh come on okay wait wait I need you to substantiate she's saying basically she's saying uh based on the house based on the evidence she's got that uh, there's a house that was bought for mr zuma in dubai that's according to her uh, it's not it's not you know you're not paying for the people tell me what you, what you think about it well she is questioning if whether president jacob zuma is for the people or not i would like to read an article for you for on this 25th of july 2023 the south african government news agency reported President Jacob Zuma announced the names of two new universities government will be building in Pumalanga, Pumalanga University, which is now the Pumalanga University, and in the Northern Cape, which is now Salt Blachi. I mean, literally, how is that? How is that for the people? That's just a cover. Oh. Wait, that's just a cover that he's putting out. Not so recently. Like, there are so many cases that are disappearing about zuma we're just focusing on that little bit positivity that he's literally painted okay that, that's granted literally. noted he's noted. trying to paint himself good while he's stealing the money i mean how many times has that been brought up that he he, he built in kandla for for like millions and millions where did he get that money even now it's still a mystery where he got that money i'm sure the pumalanga project as usual he might have been given millions and millions and, and gotten sponsors. And now he's just trying to cover up those some of the millions and taking most of it and just building a university. Come on. I'm sure he has more. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You see, you see, you see, you see, I'll tell you this. I don't think what you are saying it is fair. Uh, Jacob Zuma was asked, uh, look, you remember that there was a case against Jacob Zuma. Uh, it was called the Nkansa Upgrade, where he was told to pay back an amount amounting to seven million rand and if you remember the history of that is that uh vps a mutual bank which was based in venda they are the ones who loaned him that money because of that there was a lot of noise and jacob zima by the way paid back the loan that he took to re look to pay back the the, the upgrade money there so your points i get it but the thing is ne, there is a history that he took a loan he paid it back. Willie, she's losing this one. Well, this is why she's losing. Well, definitely you know, not. You know, this is quite interesting because you can tell that in her speech, it's governed by hate towards a man who is trying to improve the lives of South Africans. When you said, how is building two universities for the people? How do you build a country without a, a, a system of ed education? Now, when we talk about the system of education as well, we have to talk about how uh, President Jacob Zuma as well brought forth the, 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 and touched on the basic of saying, what, you know what, education must be free in this country. Let's give a fighting chance to those people who are unfortunate. Let's give them a fighting chance. And how do we give them a fighting chance? Let not NSFAS be a loan. Let NSFAS cover your tuition for these first years so that you can have an opportunity at this education and become a better uh, uh, citizen. He even went further, you know, with suggesting that all pregnant uh, um, youngsters, you know, the, the, the teenage pregnancies, let them not go home and sit there and raise the children. No, let's take them to a facility where we place them there like a boarding school. But now when we, when we speak about uh, taking children to a boarding school, you now have your, your, your people who hate uh, President Jacob Zuma say, he is violating the rights of these children. How is he violating the rights of these children when he wants to ensure that these uh, young women grow up with a formal education and a fighting chance in society. When you speak about is he whether for the people or not, you're not speaking based on facts. You are speaking based on what you heard other political parties say about him. And you must also not be blinded by the things you, you, you or statements you hear from political parties. These are the very same people that went to Nganza 
after he stepped down and had tea with him. Umalema, after sp uh, screaming, Jacob Zuma is the problem, he went out and said, Jacob Zuma was not the problem. Kota, um, let, me, let, me, let me just, wait, let me just tell you something. It says, there's a saying that says, where there's smoke, there's fire. You can't be accused of a lot of things and you claim to be innocent. And, and those cases are not concluded. None of them are concluded. We are left in mystery. I mean, I hear you about him trying to, to you know, look out for the girls and, and, and. But he's not teaching. He's literally um, surrendering young people to laziness. They are, he's busy giving out free, free everything, free this, free that. You know, when you tell a black person that I'm giving you something for free, Obviously, he's buying their, bo their their votes. That's bribery. That's daylight uh, bribery. Uh, and and another another thing, like let's look at this serious matter. Uh, back in twenty was it twenty fourteen, right? Is it? I, I stand to be corrected on that one. Give us the event. We'll yeah. remind. We'll About Kwezi, the the Kwezi case. Well, the Kwezi case. The woman who was allegedly raped by him. You want me to give uh, <laughs> to give you a rope? To I mean, me. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> <laughs> to I, I, don't myself. <laughs> I mean, uh, when I read that story about uh, the woman who was allegedly raped, the woman soberly expressed herself about the traumatic event that she faced. And how did that conclude? It was just brushed off. He never went to jail for that. And now he's trying to 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 act as if he's supporting young women, young women. I'm even asking myself a point that are these young women safe when they, there's a leader uh, 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 whom we look at as 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 the president who got away with the oh, okay, 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 right, right. Here's what I'm okay. Here's what I'm thinking. We we will go around in cycles, right? I can I can see that you've got some. Me look at things that you can point out and, and look from him, right? But here's here's my take. I, I want us to work together on this one. Tell me something. What defines a good leader according to you? Yes. What defines a bad leader according to you? Let's start with you. What defines a bad leader? A good leader. Um, you know, the aspects of a good leader are seen through his uh selflessness. You know, when 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 he when a leader when a leader decides to put the needs of his people forward when a leader advocates for his people when a leader does not mind even standing on a public pl uh, platform well knowing that he will be criticized for his views and stands on those views and moral values from the first day of struggle up until freedom has been achieved even through freedom, still advocating for the people. A good leader is seen through his actions, what he has uh, brought forth for the people. You know, uh, 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 the infrastructure that he contributes towards, you know, uh, it goes on. The list is long. I could talk about the aspects of a good leader the whole day, and you still would miss it because you are uh, clouded by, by hate. Okay, it's fine. Tell, wait, wait, Charmaine, I'm going to give you this. Yeah, remember the answer that you are uh, look. The, the the answer I'm expecting from you is to tell me what makes Jacob Zuma a bad leader, or what defi defines define for me a bad leader. And by your definition, I will get to see whether Jacob Zuma is a bad leader or not. Um. Okay. What you just described right now as a good leader, I I, I concur with you on so many points, which does not really fit in into <laughs> the very same picture. So according to me, why am I talking about him being a bad leader? I mean, everything about the man. Nah, Ashamen. Nah, Ashamen. I, I don't want. I, I, I will not allow you to get away. I want you to define a bad leader, right? Do, in, not, look, do, do not target individuals. <laughs> define a bad leader. Let, okay. let, let let's go. Define for us a bad leader, please. Exactly. That's what we, that's what we want to hear from you. A, a definition of a bad leader. Let me mention uh, um, uh, the side of a bad leader. You talked about a selfless leader. A bad leader is somebody that is selfish. We've seen that countless times. 
the way I want to be so specific right now, let me answer your question. Somebody that is selfish as a as a leader, that's that's not a good leader. Somebody that is just out there to look out for him and his family members, that's not like that's literally saying I'm practicing nepotism. And then um somebody that is just literally okay. Somebody that, that is looking out for his family, practicing nepotism, that's not good leadership. Somebody that is corrupt, we don't want any corrupt leader. I mean, where is good leadership in that if you are practicing corruption? You are, you are, you are, you are driving a car. Imagine driving a car that's, that's run out of petrol. What do you expect? That's literally... You, 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 you. Okay, man, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. You see... I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if any of you knows this. Do you know that according to the ratings, President Jacob Zuma ranks number two in the world in terms of when you look at a president who has done good for his country, infrastructure, you, you name it. President Jacob Zuma ranks number two in the world, number one in Africa. Do you know that currently Jacob Zuma sits in, I don't know what is it called in Africa, because it has been said that South Africa has never achieved, uh, it, it has never achieved development. Uh, there's no president who has ever outperformed Jacob Zuma. And Ramaphosa Gayena Gassam is not even going to come half of that. <laughs> like, whether you talk infrastructure, whether you talk uh, service delivery, when you look at the stats, uh, big, and then you look at the stats, uh, Jacob Zuma, Jacob Zuma outperformed Umbeg. Now, I can listen all day long about a bad leader, but what I'm hearing, me in a personal, is that every person has got witness, right? That's why I'm going to say So, it's a fact. Oh, you You know what? You know what? It's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But, but yes, it's fine. I'll, I'll give you. Um, I want to add on, you know, um, to also aspect um, of a leader just a little bit and to, 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 to just better give you an, an, um, a better understanding. In Africa, when you are considered a bad leader, you, um, you have to be hated by the minority. When I say you have to be hated by the minority, you have to be hated by the white people. Now, it was um, Samora Michel who said, the day I am praised by a white man, just know I have betrayed my people. And no white man praises Jacob Zuma. Why? Because Jacob Zuma, and I want you to listen to me and listen to me very attentively. We have got a crisis in South Africa of ESCOM. In 2017, uh, 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 um, News 24 rep reported that on the 16th of December, 2017, it says, the Zuma administration launched the One Trillion National Infrastructure Plan and signed a controversial nuclear power deal with Russia government, blocked by the Western Cape High Court in 2017. Now the country keeps going into debt and will never come out of it. Now, what they said one trillion is a lot of money. 500 billion was raised within a short space in 2020 that could also have contributed towards that. We could have had this infrastructure being built now within the next coming 10, five years, our problems with ESCOM would have been gone. Now, again, when you speak about aspects of a bad leader, we have to look at his time, his run and his reign as a president. In 2016. Hey, you can prepare, huh? Yes, yes. It, in 2016, Petrol, when the year ended, it ended with petrol being at 12 rand 0.8 cents and diesel at 11 rand 2 cents. Wow. The rent to the dollar was not even anywhere close to 18, to 18 rand. It was playing at 13 rand to the dollar. We had a strong economy. Our currency was strong. Petrol prices were very low. Today, with the current petrol prices, back then, you could have had two liters and change. Woo! Woo! 
Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you just ignited something to me. Yes, so, in comparison, <laughs> in comparison, what I'm getting here is that <laughs> the current one cannot be measured against the previous one. Never. The, the, the current one cannot, because oh, oh, what I'm hearing is that petrol was 12 rand something. Yes. Petrol now is 20, 22 rand something. Yeah, wait a minute. No, it's, it's the days that we are living in. Cost no. of living now is just it's just so high to to a point where I, I mean it's reasonable. Look at the times that we are living in. It it all makes sense. When Zuma was a president, yeah, things were, were lookable. I mean it was it was by luck that <laughs> he found it like that. I, we we have to give credit mm. on that. Okay, I acknowledge that one. But I'm also yeah, mentioned she has conquered. No, no, she has conquered. I'm not. At the same time, I'm like, at whose cost was he lowering all that at? Somebody was paying that price. Yes. Somebody was paying that price that uh, everything was looking like it's, it's, it's very, very low. I wanted you to tell me about the Jujuzane Zuma case, the car uh, uh, accident one. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Uh, I want you guys to tell me, is there a leader in history that does not have mistakes? So, a, anyone, whether you talk of Martin Luther, whether you talk of, I, I don't care who that leader is, whether you talk of Nelson Mandela, is there a leader without no mistake? With, I mean, sorry, with no mistake. So I'm going to start with you. You know, when we're talking about the, I would want to actually uh, come on our dear beloved, Babu Nelson Mandela. As great of a man as he was, I believe he made one of the greatest mistakes in this country. As great as President Paul Kagame is, and looking at what he has done for his country from 1994 to date, there are people who still deem him as a bad president. Why uh, 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 am I saying Paul Kagame and Jacob Zuma deemed bad presidents? Because there are certain aspects that they've decided to ignore that are controlled by people with money. The people who control uh, the, 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 uh, the currency of the country through sabotaging the rent. When we had President Jacob Zuma, constantly we were told about junk status. Junk status. Junk status. Why were we told about junk status when petrol was 12 rand, but now petrol is skyrocketing, 20-something rand. But no one has ever mentioned anything about junk status. When the name uh, Jacob Zuma is raised, initially, the, the rent has lost its value. Why? Why didn't the rent lose its value when COVID-19 hit? What is this man associated with? What are they so afraid of that they have to sabotage the economy in order for them to try and prove a point? A fabricated point. What is the problem in this. When I say uh, our dear beloved uh, Mr. Mandela made a mistake. I'm going to have to cut you there. I'm going to have to cut you there. Uh, Charmaine, is there a leader without a mistake? In, 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 in history? Just show me a leader without a mistake. Okay, I would say fair enough. A leader has to have, like, they do make some mistakes. They are humans after all. But if, if there's, there's repeatedly so many mistakes, are that questionable? Okay. You know, it's, what's my problem, guys? My problem is the fact that uh, we can sit here and debate and all day long about this one is a bird leader, this one is a bird leader. But at the end of the day, even the so-called good leaders have got the same mistakes. So for me, I would say how one should judge bad or good is basically when we say the good in the person outweighs the bad. And that's the only time I conclude that this person is good. It's just like getting, getting married. The bottom line is that you are going to get married to a person with mistakes. It's a bottom, it's a fact, right? That does, look, does that make that person bad? No, you're still going to continue to marry that lady. Why? Because y y y the good in her outweighs the bad, but doesn't necessarily mean that the bad in the person doesn't exist. So, yeah, I think I, I want to I wanna end the episode for now, but let me give you, I, I can see you are burning. Let me give you this one. Well, you know, I wanted to add on to, you know, just a few aspects, Uguti. Usually, when somebody is deemed a good leader, high chance 
they are of Western origin. But we also now have to be careful with this one. We've had African presidents assassinated because they wanted to improve the lives of their Afri uh, countrymen. Why were they assassinated? Because they have decided to centralize the natural resources. The moment they speak on na uh, 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 nationalizing central, uh, natural resources, they are considered a threat. When Muammar Gaddafi was doing great for Libya, uh, de-dollarizing de uh, the, 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 uh, the American economy through the diner, they led a mission and said, no, this guy is a rebel. This guy, this guy, this guy, he's a, a dictator. You know, they put out all sorts of words in order for you to be seen as the bad man. Whilst we have got leaders who are considered good, you American leaders who are considered good leaders, but they have bombed children. They're supplying weapons. You know, they're doing all that. But because they've got money and... Okay, um, uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, Shaman, I'm going to have to give you your closing remarks. It's your camera. Talk to me. Closing remarks. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's politics. <laughs> <laughs> so she agrees. So she agrees. <laughs> no, I'm not agreeing to anything. I'm not agreeing. I'm literally not agreeing to anything. I'm just saying that as much as this is political and everything, yes, he's doing he's, he's doing all the good and, 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 and all that. But at the same time, looking at it, for me, that's just a cover of all the bad that he's doing. You can't ignore all the bad things that he did and you focus on just that maybe he's doing 20% of the good and now it looks like it's doing 90 percent ah literally come on thank you okay um okay your closing marks please closing remarks please all right uh for me i would just like to say that um a lot of people just focus on what is pushed forward about jacob zuma that is bad you know uh, we all have got aspects in our lives that people do not love and they are going to judge us based on what they do not love because what we do good actually hurts them. They wish that it was them doing that and actually being praised for that. So it's easier to hate somebody based on their actions than praise someone because of um, the different status that we are in life. You know, it's, a, it's unfortunate that uh, the man has got to, you know, to, to, to experience that even though he's doing a lot of things out of the goodness of his heart, but um, he's... His, his uh, dark, um, dark past that is being brought up is actually overweighing the good stuff uh, that he has done as well as the HIV uh, implementations that he did, you know, saying that, no, let these people who have um, this type of, you know, disease actually be, be brought forward. When President Tabombeki was skeptical about making that decision, President Jacob Zuma stepped in and said, I am putting forward this and there is an article supporting that from the South African Government Official Information Service published on the 1st of December 20, 2009. You know, where he uh, uh, announced the changes they included, you know, in, in involving ch children, pregnant women, and those living with HIV would get the treatment so their expectancy is high because we know people were dying of HIV and AIDS through the time of President Tabombeki because he was skeptical about making those decisions. But it takes a great leader to stand up and say, I want my people to leave. You know, so people don't look at that. Okay. Um, uh, you know what? This is my closing remarks. Uh, I'm going to say, guys, like I said, and I want you guys to know, know, know this. Uh, this is what I'm going to emphasize to both of you. Um, when you. When you decide about a life partner, a person you're going to marry, here's a fact. There are things you don't like about those people. You just learn to accept and live with them. Yes, you are hoping that in a long run, they will eliminate those mistakes. But there are things you don't like about them. I don't think we have to, we, we, we should aim for a leader. We should aim to have a leader who's an angel. So long as a human being a, a look, is living on earth, they are bound to make mistakes. But I think, to be fair on every leader, they must be judged by, based on them, we must say, let's look at your bad 
versus your good. If the bad in the person outweighs the good, then for me, you are a horrible leader. <laughs> should be eliminated from society. And that's just my perspective. But nonetheless, guys, um, let's leave this episode here with the hope that we're going to come back on another one. But until such a time where we shall meet, please, guys, take care.